Well, it's not an exaggeration to say that open research data is invaluable to my research. Uh, this is because uh, we do not produce scientific measurements ourselves, so we rely on open data uh, to do our research. We use open uh, data for uh, getting inspired about new data analysis methods to develop. We use research uh, data to test the new methods that we uh, develop and also compare with other methods. Uh, we also apply them to uh, open uh, research data to discover new biological and uh, medical uh, knowledge. A particularly interesting uh, direction that we've been working on lately is uh, algorithms that can uh, combine the research results from uh, several data sets. So uh, <clears throat> this way we can learn more by combining them uh, from individual data sets themselves. Uh, thus it becomes even more important to have access to large collections of data sets uh, to perform this research. I believe that our open research uh, data can um, improve scientific discoveries by a factor of 100 or even 1,000. Uh, in particular, I believe uh, integrative analysis ho holds a great potential because what we can learn by combining the results of multiple uh, data sets and multiple studies um, is much more than what we learn when we analyze each study by itself. So far, the way uh, people do research is they analyze uh, uh, data sets mostly in isolation, they publish their results, and then you, you need a human expert to read all these results and synthesize them in their heads. Uh, but imagine we have uh, open data on uh, a plethora of uh, uh, studies, then you can actually devise intelligent systems that combine automatically the results from all these uh, studies uh, with uh, largely improving uh, the scientific process. In generally, in uh, biomedicine, uh, there are many open uh, data uh, studies and, and also repositories. However, I, I think one challenge uh, in uh, sharing this data is the metadata that accompany the uh, data sets. Um, and uh, this is still uh, lacking created challenges in uh, retrieving them and analyzing them. Usually the metadata is stored in um, unstructured form in the accompanying uh, publications uh, thus making difficult the life of a data analyst. 